Investigators say the deaths of two teenage boys yesterday on the Susquehanna River in Luzerne County appear to be accidental drownings. Their names have not yet been released. Eyewitness News ITM reporter Andy Mahalshik is live in Plymouth with our update. Andy. Good evening, Mark. This is where the boys lost their lives. In fact, witnesses tell investigators that one boy, one of the teenagers, was out there swimming by the log, trying to reach that log, the wooden stump out there. The other boy saw his friend having problems. He jumped in to try and save him. They both disappeared under the water. Today, I spoke with a local man who says he knows all too well how dangerous, if not deadly, this river can be. It's got a backwater current. You can see the current along the shoreline is running that way. The river is running south, but the current here is running this way. It's a big backwater, and the currents can be tricky. Down underneath, that could be running a whole nother, a whole nother undertow. 54-year-old Eric Stull has fished the Susquehanna River for his entire life. He says he knows this river inside and out. This is deep water. It's deceiving. Over there, half, if you cut a line down the middle of this river right here, you could walk out to there up to your waist. And then, bloop, it drops. Drop it drops right like a rock. This is the same area where two boys, ages 15 and 17, drowned. They went under the surface at about 5 p.m. Tuesday. Their bodies found about five hours later. You don't swim here because there's just too many ifs, it's, you know, between the currents and the undertows and the jagged rocks and the drop-offs. I mean, and the way it goes from two, three feet to nothing. Stahl says he had a close call on the Susquehanna. I have literally experienced. I've fallen out of my boat and getting and had that current get a hold of me, and uh, it beats you up, and you have no way you have no way of knowing which way is up. Now, friends of the victims told me that they will have a vigil, a candlelight vigil, starting at seven o'clock tonight here near the area near the Cary Avenue Bridge in honor of their friends. Again, that starts at seven o'clock. We'll have a live report coming up, and I want to do the seven on WYU. Reporting live along the Susquehanna River in Plymouth, Luzerne County, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News. Back to you, Mark. All right, Andy, and our thoughts going out tonight to family and friends of the victims, as well as the Wyoming Valley West School District where the boys were enrolled. The Luzerne County Coroner says autopsies will be done tomorrow on the victims.